Okay, mamas, we are back again. Woo, that's a hot burner. <laughs> I can feel the heat coming off. We are getting ready to make something super fun today. And of course, I have my fellow admin, Hi. sweet bestie friend from, can I New say York. where you're from? Yeah, she's from New York. <laughs> <laughs> so I have her here with me today, and we are going to make payoff day candies, but we are going to make them dairy-free, dairy-free. <laughs> Catherine is actually anaphylactic to dairy, so we have to be super careful yeah. that she cannot have any dairy whatsoever. That's and bad. many of you know that the payoff day candies are a butter-based ca um, cookie candy, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. And so we are going to show you how we make them dairy-free, and they still come out super delicious and wonderful. And we're actually going to zhuzh them up an extra little bit by, we're going to coat them half in chocolate too. So this video will be in, coming in a, little, a couple of parts here. So I'm warming up our pan already, getting it ready to go. Oh, and another thing, you can do peanuts or can you not do peanuts? I can't do peanuts. Okay, and I can't do peanuts. I can't do almonds. But I can, but I can also do cashews. Okay, and I can do cashews, and that's my kind of go-to nut when mm -hmm. I can't have any of the other nuts. But we were talking about this a little bit earlier, and we feel that this would be just as delicious if you used pepitas or pumpkin seeds oh, would be really delicious with this. Any seed. I've made some with pumpkin uh, sunflower seed and chia once. Yeah. See, I think that'd be really good. So there's great alternatives if peanuts or I'm sorry, if nuts are off the table for you completely. And to be quite honest, I think you could easily use the bigger shreds of coconut in this and make a yummy coconutty kind of blend with it. You, you know, know, I want to try it. Yeah, I know. See? <laughs> <laughs> so this is how the ideas are born is you just start playing in the kitchen. So you just got to give it a chance. But just so you know, so in this case, we are going to be using cashews and then um, for those of you that have a peanut sensitivity like me, you have it's very hard to find cashews that are not also cooked in peanuts unless you can find true dry roasted ones, mm -hmm. which is, for me, is very hard. Trader Joe's is my go-to brand. That's her go-to brand. Um, we don't have a Trader Joe's in my, um, in my city that I live in here. I'd have to travel to pretty far to another city to find one. So we did go to our local Kroger and we found this kind brand. And these ones work for us. Um, they have just sunflower or safflower, safflower oil. oil. These ones have safflower oil. So these are going to work. The other option would be um, if you can't handle the peanut oil that's in cashews, buy raw and pop them in your oven and just roast them. I actually have a, a recipe on my blog for that that I'll link you to. And to be quite honest, oven roasted cashews just by themselves are a treat. They're really good. Yeah, nice and warm out of the oven. They're truly a treat. So anyway, we're gonna get started with this and we'll show you all the subs that we're gonna do and make this work for us dairy-free mamas, peanut-free mamas, almond-free mamas. So here we go. So. Um, First ingredient is the sweetener. Okay, so we're going to pop the sweetener in, and we, it calls for a quarter, quarter cup. cup. Okay, so this is a gentle sweet, um, <clears throat> and we're going to be using gentle sweet because that's what I have. I happen to have it, and I have super sweet blend. I really keep both. And we are making a double batch, so we're going to put in double the amount. Which would be half a cup. Yes, half a cup, which you can't give away the whole thing on here, but just FYI. Oh. Yeah. I try to be careful because sometimes I get into saying it. I'll cut this out mm -hmm. and then I remember. Uh, the next ingredient is butter. Okay, so here we go. Next ingredient, butter. We will be using Sobbing. coconut oil. So this is a pretty easy sub. Most mm -hmm. of us THM mamas have this on hand, so it's easy to do. And let me see here. All right, so we're going to double, double this again. Mm -hmm. So... And this recipe is in the THM cookbook. Oh, thank you. I was going to mention that. I'm glad you did. Yeah. So be sure to uh, turn to it. It's on page 381 for all the um, original ingredients and measurements and yep. the original directions, which yep. we are following the original directions. Yes. We are just making our substitutions as we would like. And then we'll also show you the chocolate that we're going to be using for this when we're going to do the dips so that it remains safe and dairy-free for Catherine. I am not, <clears throat> I'm sensitive to dairy, but I can do a lot of dairy, whereas she can have no dairy. So we're very careful when she's here to make sure oh, we find good alternatives. A hint with, um, because I've done this, these dairy free before, a hint is that um, sometimes when you're substituting coconut oil for um, real butter, it can pool more. Mm. So I pulled back just a little bit on Oops. it, so it's not quite so swimmy. Well, we got, and I, I we did got enough did nuts so that we can make, make it up more. The difference. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. That's a really good tip because I didn't know that. Because I, since I can do butter, I do butter. But it's a good tip for those of you that can't. 
I would do that if I could. Absolutely. Yeah, Glory, who wouldn't? Also, you can substitute. There's there's vegan butters that you can buy, like um, Neocos yeah. and, mm -hmm. and Kite Hill, but we yeah. didn't have any on hand. So. And you can actually buy, I think it's a Nutiva coconut oil oh, that yeah. has a butter flavor, which is truly dairy-free. There's yep. no risk for even Catherine to have it. Okay, so you want to put in the, um, the so it um, calls for heavy cream now, but we are we have a sub right here for our heavy cream. We're going to be using just coconut milk. And Catherine's going to be pulling off the thickest parts the of it. creamy part. So if you can get coconut <clears throat> cream, you're going to have more to play with. Yeah. Then you I'm could just... probably go a little light even on that since I kind of went with exactly this the... This is the yummiest part. Okay. <laughs> I'm not skipping on this. <laughs> I'm good with that one now what I'm doing is is I'm scooping and I'm I'm gently pouring off the liquid um, it's easier if you shove it in the fridge until it hardens and then all the, the good stuff floats to the top but we wanted to get this done because yeah I want some now yeah we want to get these made up and then get them covered in chocolate we have a two-step process today which you don't need to cover them in any chocolate they are absolutely phenomenal as is we just wanted to Play and make, take it to the next step. Make it something it's amazing. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're well, getting three, close. Right? Yep, that's three. Three scoops. And we are on scoop number four. Now, remember, we are doubling up this recipe, you guys. So when you see it written out in the cookbook, you'll you'll be able to better decipher what we have rolling here. Um, all right. Let's see here. And it says, so next we have caramel extract. And, yes, I do have the THM brand. Um, I don't know about you, Catherine, but I have found the THM brand of extracts to be phenomenal. I love them. Yeah. I, I've been using them exclusively. Because, yeah. Oh, that one needs to be open. Oh, you're right. I, I haven't that. even used it. We blow through them so fast. It's a new one. It is a new one. Yeah, Carmel's I love one them. Of my favorites. Yeah, Carmel's one of my favorites, too. Mm -hmm. I use it in quite a bit. I use it in my okay. coffee. I use it in, like, everything I bake. I put it in the yogurt. What can't you put? We in? might be a little over an eighth. <sighs> That's okay. I, I generally do the methods, good. So. Okay, good. Yeah. Then we won't worry about it. Mm -mm. Okay, what are we at? Okay, so now those have to uh, reach just the desire, desired caramel color. Stir okay, it off. but the thing is, it's not going to caramelize. You just kind of cook it a bit until um, it gets kind of a different consistency. It'll thicken up, but it's not going to no, turn it'll colors. No, it'll act weird. Okay, it'll just change. Well, that's what it does with the butter. It gets into a caramely type texture. And, and this doesn't do what butter does. Yeah. It, it behaves really different. Does it? But okay. you just want to learn it enough. Because I've never done these without the dairy before, but this is something I would totally attempt. So generally, and I'm working on a much bigger burner than I usually would, <laughs> so you can see the heat coming off of it right here. But we're going to just keep working this. So once this comes up to temperature and how we want it. We take it off the heat. Okay. And we're going to add the nuts. Yep. This, the nut butter and um and the butter okay yep, the nut butter okay so the, the last of the all the, the rest of the ingredients come okay in at that point. very good very good well and here. the nice thing about this is you don't have to use a spray or any coating on it because no. it's built in it's wonderful yeah. okay guys so um, we made a little executive decision between then and, and when, when we were starting this. And now we decided we're gonna go ahead and refrigerate them into my silicone pan. Um, it'll help keep their shape because without the butter, they're gonna definitely be more runny. And this way we won't get these long spread out runny clumps. We can put them in here and they'll, they'll hold a nice shape. So once they're finished and we pop them out and wanna go dip them in chocolate, they'll be great. Now, um, I'm gonna kinda just tilt the camera here a little bit, hopefully without making a mess. Can you, you kinda see? Yeah. We're at a good bubble right now, but it's really not gonna reach like a soft candy stage or anything like that. I would normally be looking for that, but without the dairy, it's just not gonna hit that. So we're just about there now where we can start adding in our other ingredients. Wouldn't you say we're kinda there? I think we are. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. And we need to remove these Let's from the heat, move right? This, yes. Okay, so we're gonna pull this back, put my little protection there. And okay. We're going to put the nut butter in. Put nut butter? Okay, mm -hmm. let me see. What do we got? So four of those. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick spray of that. Okay, so let's pop. So this is once again good. We're using cashew butter, because 
No nuts, no, we're not no almonds nuts. and no mm -hmm. peanuts for me. So, um, or for Catherine today. That was three. Yep, mm -hmm. that's three. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. And one more. Oh, there that looks go. good. Yeah. Let's, okay. Oh, look, that one. Yeah, that came nicer. out really, really well. So you got okay. that. Yep. And so I'll stir this, and you're going to add mm -hmm. salt. Yep, the salt. Okay. Yeah, this is actually feeling like it's thickening up some. And what's the last thing? And then is the nuts. those guys, you want to do that? Yes. Do you want me to there measure them or just dump them? No. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> now, be because this it is mix a runnier well, though, mix, right? yeah, that should mix until it's like really blended. Do you okay. Have I have yes. a whisk, yeah, but it's a metal whisk for. But I can. Do you have a side so for this pan? Mm -mm. But I can do it just quickly and gently. Oh, thank thank you. You. There we go. It's yeah, it really now quick. it's yeah. Okay, so we're looking for this to be well mixed together. Can you guys kind of see? And actually, to be honest, now that we pulled it off, it's still definitely not at a candy stage even. It's still really, really runny. But Catherine's done this before successfully, and we're going to go with that. So Yeah, it's not going to get... I mean, you might get it just a teeny bit thicker than this, but not really. Okay. Mm -mm. So now we're going to go ahead and add in cashews. Are those okay that they're so whole? Is that... Yeah, I like them. Okay, perfect. Then we're going with it. And and like I said, I, I overdo the nuts How because many? it's so loose. Three uh, fourths? It would be one, two, three, six of these. Okay. So if there's more oh. left, I'll probably dump it in anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. two, two. Oh, these are going to be fantastic, you guys, and totally dairy-free. I'm so excited. If you have not tried this recipe, it's excellent. But I will tell you, this is a recipe that, for me, can be a trigger food. So I really do have to be kind of careful because I'll want to eat, like, way too many. I will eat the whole batch in two days if yeah. I'm careful. So I store yeah. mine in the freezer. Yeah, that might be a really good tip. Because I don't want to risk breaking a tooth. Are so. we just dumping it all? Yeah. Going it's, for it's it. It's not a lot more. That's a good amount. Okay. Perfect. All right, so does it say how many it's supposed to make? Um, about 16 candies. Okay, so we have a dozen there. Well, I think we're gonna make a dozen. Or we could just put the rest of it on there. On the other thing later. Okay, so I got a small scoop out to kind of help give us a little portion control. <laughs> I don't know how well that's actually gonna work, but we're gonna, ooh. Maybe not. Maybe it should be yeah, I think we're going to need the bigger one. Oh, how sad. They'll have to be bigger. <laughs> don't cry, Tim. Okay, do you mean this size? Yeah. What do you mean yes. this size? What are we going for? <laughs> okay. Let's just see how they roll out. Ooh, These are definitely going to be a decadent little treat. I'd say if there's a dozen, yeah, I would say one of these. Especially when you get these covered up with the chocolate, they're going to be... Um, Plenty. Yeah, it's going to be very satisfying. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So you want to see? Not bad. Don't let them fall out. Okay. okay. We are going to pop these in the free, no, refrigerator. Freezer? Sure. Refrigerator? I, lost I don't know. We're going to put them in a box that's really cold. And when they are done getting really cold, we are going to pull them back out of that box. And we're going to melt some chocolate and dip half of them in that chocolate. And we will show you our finished product soon. Okay, we'll be back. Here we go. There we go. Okay, friends, we are back. And our candies are officially done. <laughs> so they look great. Um, they probably could have froze a little bit longer, but we're on a little bit of a time frame today. So we just thought, let's just move on to the next step. We put, um, oh, okay. I'll grab it. So we're using this 85% dark chocolate. Um, it doesn't have any dairy in it, so it's safer, Catherine, to mm -hmm. use. And we just melted that in the microwave really quick to do some dips. We're only gonna dip half of the candy um, and leave the other half undone. So, you know, looks fancy, looks pretty, all that good stuff. So do you wanna pop one out of there yes. and give it a shot? And then we have our little uh, parchment lined cookie sheet here to finish these off. And others. you can see how these come out of the... They're still a little bit soft. Okay. They're doable. All right. We're going to make them work. Uh-oh. They are a little soft because we're pushing our time. Is that good? I would do a little bit more there. Okay. Whoa. Okay. And then that'll go there and that'll turn. Yay! That's the first one. Let's see. How about if I turn it like this direction you know, to that's you? That's a very good idea. Okay. You You're can so smart. Them. That's why I stick around. There we go. That looks good. 
pop. These are looking amazing, you guys. These are gonna be so delicious and a wonderful treat. Honestly, I think if you were having some kind of a party, these would be a great, great treat to have at a party. And Absolutely. if I had a mini silicone muffin pan, I would totally do these in a mini um, silicone muffin pan. You know, I'm going to be putting that on my wish list. You know what, we could that's do. that's a fabulous idea. If we wanna pull these out, we could do a drizzle over the top too. Let's do it. Okay. Because it's getting kind of low on the chocolate in here. And these are, the longer we let it sit out. Yeah, they're getting too the soft. The soft they're going to get. We're only rushing it because we are on puppy duty this afternoon. And so we need to go pick up our lunch and go over and take care of my daughter's puppy. She adopted a um, German Shepherd Labrador mix. I don't know. There's a few things in there, I think. And she's adorable. And she's super adorable, but she's still just a baby. And so, yeah, she's really hyper. So we didn't let these sit up as long as we would have if we had had all the time we needed. And so we're going to... smell off. Oh, you better eat that. Tell us how it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so buttery. <laughs> the first time I made these, I seriously spit it out of my mouth because I thought I accidentally used butter. It was so good. I was afraid I used the wrong thing. This is fabulous. But these are totally dairy-free, completely mm -hmm. safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this forward. And yes, you guys can see it well. Okay, mm -hmm. and then I just melted off that chocolate, like I said, in the microwave. And I think instead of doing a yeah, dip, we're good. gonna just do some little... A good pour on them. Yeah, do a little pour on each one. And I would kind of do something fancier, but I think that we're gonna just go with what we get. You know, if you do it too fancy, you're not gonna get enough of the chocolate on it. Yeah, true, right? Yeah. So we don't want to miss that. Oh, that one's pretty though. There we go. So yeah, I mean, there really you could do whatever you like with these, honestly. Mm -hmm. Just get creative. This is another one where you can get creative with extracts and oh, stuff. Yeah. Anything mm -hmm. that you like. Oh, there's gonna be, this is gonna be the perfect amount of chocolate for all of them. So, all right, we are almost there. Let me clean this out, cause you know, nobody, I don't believe in wasting chocolate. So. Gonna You're going to lick it? Okay, I'm going <laughs> to give it to Catherine. Then she can finish it off when I finish this. Ah. Okay, so some of these definitely look fancier. Here you go. They look, look good. away. They look good. So what do you guys think? Huh? Not too shabby? I think these ones down in front where I got a nice drizzle are actually a little bit pretty. But either way, I know that they're going to taste amazing, which I probably, for you know the sake of everyone watching, should probably taste one, I would imagine. Eat it. Do it, do it. I'm gonna just break off a piece I can't wait though. To see if you, how much you like it. You're gonna just melt. Yeah, because I've had these with the butter, so I already know I love them. But this is my first dairy. <gasps> you could tell me how different they are. Mmm. They're not. Aren't they fancy? Mm hmm Do they taste very similar or mostly similar? No. These taste the same as the buttery ones. Really? I really cannot tell the difference. <laughs> no, these are really fabulous. Really, really good. So remember, they're dairy-free. Obviously, these are gluten-free. Yeah, you better eat that. <laughs> these are going to be short work for us. I'm pretty sure of that. They won't last a long time with the two of us here. And once my husband gets home and finds them. Oh, shoot. We're going to have to hide them. We are we'll definitely going to have to hide them. them, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> little prize out. They came out wonderful. They really, truly are great. I can't tell, really, that they're dairy-free. They taste delicious. These are a winner. I am so happy we did this. <laughs> And Admin's gotta right. have fun. Admin's gotta have fun. And <laughs> you guys can have fun. That's I, the point of my videos and the work that I do and the coaching that I do and what we do as admins mm -hmm. is really to show you guys that even with food sensitivities and allergies, you can really enjoy on-plan food without feeling like you're being deprived or missing out on all the wonderful treats that everybody else seems to get. Yes. And we get that when you first get food sensitivities, yes. it feels overwhelming and like there's nothing you can have. But trust me, you'll always find something that's delicious that you really can enjoy on plan. And it's not hard to do. It mm -mm. seems it when you think about it because you're like, oh, baking. But look what it was. It was snip, snap, done. Yep. This was super easy. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll put in the comments or in the description of this, the page number that you can find this on. I'll put a link to the cookbook. And this is the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook that you can find this in. Um, let me grab it. It's this one, and yes, mine looks very beat up. It's used quite a bit, but this is where you'll find the recipes in this book, and I will link to the book. I'll write in the page number, 
And um, I'll write in the substitutions that we made in the description so mm -hmm. you don't have to try to follow along in the, in the actual video, but I'll, I'll put in there what we did. So now from here, we're gonna pop these back into the fridge or freezer maybe, I don't yeah, know. Either. And um, let them completely set up and we have dessert for later tonight after we're done puppy Yay. sitting. I know, we get treats. We get treats, puppy gets treats. Life is good. <laughs> Life is good, win-win. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you later, bye.